what's going on guys and today i'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called gui shop now this was requested and i had done a tutorial on this a long time ago but a lot has changed i'm here for an update and this is actually a really good plugin so what it lets you do is if you type slash shop then it'll open up a gui and inside that gui there are items that you can click on to buy whatever you want to buy or sell and it can be really organized for your players which is a good thing and at the same time your players can just buy whatever items they want whenever because they don't have to get to the spawn or anything like that just one simple command so the plugin developer actually included a pre-made shop so what you want to do is you want to download the plugin called GUI shop you want to have vault and then put those two plugins inside of your plugins folder and then restart your server so after your server has been restarted you should see the GUI shop folder inside here is the config.yml and shops.yml so if you want already a pre-made shop where you have to hardly put any more items in it then go ahead and delete these two and then go ahead and download the pre-made config.yml and the pre-made shop.yml and then once you have those downloaded just drop them in your GUI shop to replace the old ones so there we go I just dragged the new ones in there now go into the config.yml and edit that now here's some settings you can change first of all you're probably gonna want to change the menu name and that's the title of the shop so you can put whatever your server name is and then shop you can change the color code so whatever color code that you put the rest of it will appear in that color so you can change that the color codes are on the screen and then the tag in chat you can also change that and if you wanted to print every action in the console, you can do that. And the command to open up the shop is slash shop. So you can change that if you want. Make sure not to put the slash. And then here are all the messages. You don't really have to worry about that. Disabled worlds. You can go ahead and put that too. And then these right here for, well, first of all, how many rows you want. So if you want a big shop, then you can go ahead and put two or three or four. And then here is the first block. So if I open up the shop and it looks like that, that's the first block. And then as you can see the title, pretty cool. But anyways, here's the first block. And as you can tell, that is stone. So if we were to click on this, then it'd open up another menu. So it's more detailed and with actual blocks there. So I'm going to go back and then the next one is a raid item shop, which is TNT. So here is the item that actually represents what it looks like. So the stone block represents the block shop. And honestly, this isn't the best pre-made config and pre-made shop there is. So you guys will probably have to change a lot around, but it just depends on what you want. So if your server is based around raiding like this guy's, you're going to want a category for raid item shop. It really just all depends. So I'm going to make two rows just for the heck of it. And I'm going to add another item. So I'm going to hit enter backspace backspace five enter space up enabled true I don't know why that's an option but item now we're gonna have to have an item that represents this so let's create a new shop so there's block item I'm gonna do weapon shop so I'm guessing underscores will have to take the place of spaces so diamond underscore sword and then name you have to type quote and then if you want colors for it you can type a color code your choice so i'm going to use that weapon shop and then another quote to close it off you can add a description which is pretty cool i'm going to type buy weapons the last thing is when you click on the block then the title of that so i just clicked on the diamond and it opened up this so that's the title of the new menu so you can go ahead and type in what you want there so I'm just gonna put in all caps weapon shop there we go so now I'm gonna save this and you guys should see the changes and don't forget to restart your server so if we were to type slash shop and hit enter there we go now we have our new thing weapon shop by weapons everything is how I set it so we can't actually open it up because I have no item set for this but yeah there it is and for some reason you can't open up the shop make sure that the command that you set in the config is shop and also make sure you don't have any other old plugins that might mess this plugin up because that happened to me with a couple of plugins and this right here is the actual name that we put in the config.yml so as you can see misc right here that is what we put. So we have to copy that name and then add it into the shops.yml. So I'm going to add this to the bottom. Backspace, backspace, backspace. So we just put a colon after that and there we go. So now just hit enter and then line up with the other numbers there. Type one colon enter dash item colon. And then here's where you type the item ID that you want to sell. So the item ID is 276 for a diamond sword. I should probably start with wooden. So yeah, I'm going to change that. So wooden is 268. And then, yeah, we can just fill out the rest how the others are. So quantity, one. 
name and we can actually create a colorful name if we wanted to for this so if I wanted to I'd use a color code but I'm not going to I'm just gonna type wooden sword make sure you have the quotes with it too and then here's where you type your price so I'm just gonna go 20 20 sounds legit for that and then sell and you don't actually have to have a sell price if you don't want your players to sell these items so you can just leave it blank if you wanted to and I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then uh, slot so what slot you want it in the first one is actually zero it's not one so I'm gonna put it in the first slot and then data if it has a data value then you can put that but none of the swords have data value so I don't have to worry about that and yeah I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off real quick and also you guys might want to keep this in mind your players when they click on this when they left click on this they'll buy the glowstone and whatever number it says here that's how much you'll get so if you click on it you'll get 64 if you click on the TNT you'll get 16 of it but a cool feature about this is if you shift and click on it then you'll only buy one of it and that'll basically just calculate how much one costs from how much the price is for 16 all right, so there we go. I went ahead and finished it all. And a good thing that you can actually do is just copy what you have here and then just paste it. That will save a lot of time. And you can just change this number to six and do all the rest. But uh, yeah, I went ahead and finished it and I changed all the names, the item IDs, the slot it was in, and this on the side. So, and I actually added a sell price for one of them just to show you what it's like to sell an item. Let's go ahead and save this and restart your server. And I actually just made two mistakes. So one mistake was for the sell, you're actually supposed to put false. And I failed to tell you guys that, so I'm sorry. So let me go ahead and change all these and then after that the other mistake that I made was I had everything spaced so I had spaced everything out like that and that's not what you want to do right after the colon you just want to have the next thing not a space and the next thing so make sure it's all close to the colon and there's no space in between so after that just save your settings and restart your server and also I don't know why I keep forgetting like the small thing to tell you guys but another thing is if there's no data value, make sure to put zero. So after that, just save your settings and restart your server. So now that we're back on our server, we can type slash shop. Here is my new shop. And then here are all the weapons right there. And as you can see, it says cannot resell. And the only one that I put up for sale is sellable. So that's pretty cool. And all the prices are exactly how I wanted it. And all the names and everything. So it's all working out great. Now I'm going to actually sell it. To sell it, you want to click on the item inside of your inventory. Bam. Now I just made $10. So that's pretty cool and very useful for your players. Now I'm going to buy a diamond sword. There we go. So now it's taking $200 from my account. Make sure to have vault by the way if i didn't say that already but yeah that is it for this tutorial so hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial make sure to drop a like if it helped you guys and subscribe for more plug tutorials all right guys i'll see you guys next time peace